welcome back to Good Times by La Rota, Australia, Odds and Dens. I'm Dan and I'm bringing you Idiot of the Week. Today we're going to talk about the big supermarket chains. Now, if you don't live in Australia, I understand, but if you don't know, we are going through a huge drought. Now, we've gone from drought to flooding rain in Queensland, but places in Victoria are still flooded. Still. Um, sorry, not flooded. It's 10 past 4 in the morning. I'm pretty stuffed. But, getting back on topic, there are places in Australia that have gone from extreme drought to extreme flood and have lost a lot of their cattle. Beef farmers, dairy farmers, crop farmers. In Victoria we've got the same problem uh, barring the, the terrible droughts. Don't have anything else to worry about. But back to the supermarkets who kind of created the problem. Alright so the two largest supermarket chains that I can't name or they'll probably sue me into the ground decided to have a price war on milk. They brought prices down to a dollar a litre, and in doing so, brought prices back to what we were paying for milk in the early 1990s. That didn't mean the farmer got paid 2018 prices. He got paid 1990 prices, and of course, it fucked him. Now, given that, plus the drought, and some of these farmers are spending 400 grand a year on water to get it shipped in. Alright, so what I've done is I've got this here, alright? Big chain rape milk. <laughs> One dollar a litre. Raping the shit out of the farmers, but hey, you don't have to know that. So if it's no cost to your conscience, One dollar. Real cheap. We've gone from that to less rapey milk. <laughs> $1.20 a litre. Wow. We're going to give that 20 cents to the farmers because they deserve it. Well, actually, no. As much as they deserve the extra money, it's kind of like DuPont in the US when they poisoned the water table of a small town and gave everyone in it cancer. It's like them coming out and saying, oh, we're, we're starting a new branch of DuPont now for cancer research because cancer's bad. They fucking caused the problem in the first place, then expect us to look up to them as heroes when they say, yep, we're going to jack the prices up to make things better. <sighs> I've got an old paper here beside me. I'll read out a quote for you. All right, headline. Coles refuses to scrap $1 milk unless rivals follow. Now, quote, What I do want to do is get an industry-wide anti-competition price-fixing cartel. That's what he said there. Solution as fast as I can that covers all retailers and preferably all milk brands. Again, pricing cartel anti-competition where we see additional funds being channeled directly to farmers. Hmm. What, he couldn't think about that when they decided to drop milk to a dollar in the first place? Because they sure as fuck weren't going to pay, all right, let's say two bucks a litre that milk's worth, really worth, to a farmer only to sell it for a dollar. Not going to happen. I mean, they're stupid, but not that fucking stupid. But how's this title though? Uh, I have read this article and they don't want to budge until the other large retailer that holds a monstrous share of the grocery market in Australia does the same. So that's like saying, hmm, my neighbour's house is on fire, I know they're home, but you know, I won't knock on the door and alert them until someone else does it first. Or, 
Yeah, Hitler is kind of bad, and the Nazis are doing mean stuff to other Europeans. But I'm not going to do anything until someone else does something first. Or, hmm, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't eat until someone else does it first, or I'm not going to drink anything until someone else does it first. I'm sure you can see where I'm going. It's just fucking ridiculous. Set the standard. That's all I'm asking. <sighs> but if you want to set the standard, there is a way to fight this. Instead of buying the big chain rape brand milk, buy the locally produced one. You'll be able to tell which one it is quite easily because it'll probably be a dollar or two more for the bottle. Yeah, it's coming out of your pocket, but it's going into the farmers. Unlike these assholes who created this problem in the first place, we can actually be the real solution. Now, I'm sorry that this video isn't as funny. Now, I want to be humorous, but these things need to be pointed out. <sighs> anyway, I'm Dan. Have a good one. And don't forget, punch subscribe or I'll punch you. I'm out of here. <laughs>